What's up, Wayne Baron here with darkeffects.net, and today we're in After Effects, and this is what we're going to be creating. Let's try it again. As you can see, our text starts out not shaking, and then it ends up shaking. So that's what we're going to be doing. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Let's go to Composition, New Composition, and we're going to name this uh, Wiggle. But a 550 width, 309 for the height, two seconds, white background will be fine. And so let's go ahead and add in our text. We're going to put in dark effects. We're going to center this in the center. About right there. Now we're going to duplicate this layer. And this one right here is going to be the top. <coughs> and. Uh, this one right here is going to be the the wiggle, and it's supposed to be actually end. Let's try this one more time. This is start. Okay. So what we're going to do here is we're going to drag this to about 15, drag this from back down to about there, and then we're going to go to our position, hold down the Alt key, and then click. Type in wiggle. 50, 15, and then end it. And there we go. Now we hit the space bar, and this is our effect. Really quick, really simple effect to do. The reason why we have to create our start layer is that once we add a wiggle to this, unless there's some other way to do it, this is the only way I know to do it. Now, once we add a wiggle to a layer, the layer will wiggle. R regardless of whether or not you want it to start out as a wiggle, it's going to wiggle. So the best way to do these effects with a wiggle on a layer is to create a duplicate layer, one with a wiggle and one without the wiggle. That way you can have a solid layer and then jump over to your wiggle. So, anyway, this is Wayne Barron with darkfix.net and I hope y'all enjoy these quick tips and y'all have a rocking week.